Today we're going to circle back and do a revisit as we take another look at Octo Everywhere. Hello everyone, Chris here. I hope you're all well. And a couple of months ago, we checked out a plugin called Octo Everywhere. Well, the Octo Everywhere team has been hard at work adding new features, increasing security and performance, and they've even got seven different servers in different data centers now, so it's even easier to get to your instance. If you don't know what Octo Everywhere is, it's a plugin, again, that you can add to your OctoPrint instance, no matter what device you run OctoPrint on, and then you can access it from any device that has an internet connection. It's very simple to set up, very easy to use, secure, and I thought this would be a great time to go back over it, see what new features they've added. Maybe it'll be more interesting to you now, and I can't go without saying, there is a plan that you can choose to use Octo Everywhere where it is completely free. So let's jump in, get it installed, and we'll just see what all these new features are about. And here we are in OctoPrint. This is actually the OctoPrint instance that's in my printed solid enclosure uh, from the video you probably saw before. I still need to make an update to that. But it does have a camera. It doesn't really have a lot of add-on plugins, just a few for temperature. But by far the easiest way to install Octo everywhere is just to add it as a plugin. So go to settings, plugin manager, and we'll just hit get more and search for Octo Everywhere. And from here, you can check out the details, the homepage, all that good stuff. And we'll check that out while we let it install. If you want all the ins and outs, how this works, check out this page. I'll leave a link to it. But basically, it's free remote access for your OctoPrint instance. Nothing wrong with that. Once we're installed, we'll close this and restart. And when you restart, you're going to come back to the setup wizard for Octo Everywhere. This is a new feature, makes it even easier to use. So let's go ahead and complete our setup. That'll take you to the Octo Everywhere site. And it's going to walk you right through it. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create your account now, or you can just log in. After you have an account, all you have to do is name your printer. Let's call this the Prusa ENC because it's in our enclosure so I know where it is and we'll hit finish setup. And there it is. There's our new printer and it already gives us a snapshot from our webcam feed. Let's go add another OctoPrint instance just for fun. Let's add the one that's on my MMU2. Settings, plugin manager, we just need Octo everywhere. After it's installed, Octo Everywhere, finish our setup, enter the name, Prusa MMU2, finish setup. I don't have a webcam over there, but now we should be able to access both of those printers anywhere we are. And just right off the bat, I've noticed from the last time we did the video, the user interface is a lot cleaner now and you get these webcam shots right on the front page, whether you're using it from a computer or on your cell phone. This is a share from my cell phone right here. It's really clean, easy to use. And when using any service like this, you should always be concerned with security. Octo Everywhere is very secure. In fact, they put together a lot of documentation, even a video, to show you how it all works. Just follow the usual rules that you would on the internet. Good passwords, better yet, use an account through one of the giants like Google or Microsoft, and you're going to be even better off. But if you want to take a look at that doc, it's all right here in one of their blog posts. And I'll leave a link to this as well as a video. Renaissance Laboratories did a great job explaining how this whole thing works. It should make you feel better if you have any security concerns at all. Next, let's take a look at third-party apps you can use alongside Octo Everywhere from your device, like your phone or your tablet. We'll just go to Setup App. Octo Everywhere has worked really closely with a lot of the more popular apps, whether it be Android or iOS, to be fully integrated so it's easier to use. I use Printoid. On Printoid, now all you have to do is jump into Basic Settings, hit Connect Now under Octo Everywhere, log in, and you're all set. Hit Connect and Finish. Now you're connected up to Octo Everywhere with that printer you selected on the previous screen. You can control it just as you would any other place with your Printoid app, whether you're on the LAN or wherever you might be. 
Remember, if you can't connect to Octo Everywhere, you're having problems, get off of your wireless network in your house, go to your cellular network, that should make it easier to connect up. Because that's the whole point of Octo Everywhere. So you can use it anywhere you want. Of course, you don't have to use a third-party app. You can just go to the Octo Everywhere site and hit connect to whichever printer you want to connect to. And that'll take you right to the OctoPrint page. You can log in and use OctoPrint like you would from any other device. Now, I do find OctoPrint to be kind of hard to use on your phone. It's pretty small, but you could always go with that Touch UI plugin that's going to make it a blockier version so that it's easier to hit the buttons from your touchscreen. So you can do it whichever way you want, but the whole point here is it's much easier to get everything connected now in the newer version of Octo Everywhere. You can also still share printer access. You definitely want to be careful with this, but you can send a link to one of your buddies and they can control your 3D printer. If you have an app that's not directly supported by Octo Everywhere yet, you can set it up with this third-party app connections down here. All you have to do to allow them to share your printer is grab this link down here and send it over to them. Again, just be careful. And we have to talk about printer notifications because this is one of the biggest improvements from the last time we checked out Octo Everywhere. Now you have a ton of different options. You can get all different kinds of notifications via these methods. Email, really the only two I use currently are email and Discord. Email is very straightforward, of course. You can enable it and just pick whatever options you'd like to get notified about. Even like first layer done. Filament and color change would be really handy. It's pretty self-explanatory, but could be really useful. Now, if you're a Discord fan, it's a little different. We'll just go into the Discord option. We'll enable it. And there is a little bit of setup. I'll show you how I did mine. You can either get direct messages or through a server channel. We'll just do direct message for now. We have to join up to Discord. We accept our Octo Everywhere invite. And the only rule is you have to be part of their channel to be able to use that notification setup. So just go to the channel after you get that invite, it's going to go directly there and just paste anything in. I usually just copy this, post anything in this channel right here, paste it right here, hit enter, go to the Octo Everywhere direct messages. Now we're all set up. You can get your notifications right here in Discord. And those are just two of the options. If you're a Slack user, go for that one. But this has been greatly improved. You, need, you can now get all the crazy information you need about your Octoprint instance wherever you're at. So it's been cleaned up. It looks a lot better. It performs better. It's secure. They're working directly with a lot of third-party developers now to make it easier to access Octo everywhere. But there is one feature that they recently added that I think is going to be really useful. And that's live links. With a live link, you can paste this link of your actively working printer and share it anywhere you want. Wherever you are on social media, you can go directly to it. All you have to do, create a live link, punch in some information. I am printing a rocket lamp right now. So we'll just call it rocket lamp. It's on the Prusa inside the enclosure. You can set your link expiration. This print will be done in about four hours, so let's just give it four hours. Advanced details, you can share the link to the model you're printing and the filament you're using. So we might as well do that. Here's the rocket lamp that I'm printing, and I'm using Jesse PLA Blue Ice. Create live link. You can copy this link, send it to whoever you want to be able to preview your printer. You can even add and edit your social links down here if you want to share them directly. But now that I have it copied, I can create a tweet over here and share it out. And there it is on Twitter. It gives the preview snapshot of the webcam. Anybody can go directly to it and check out your progress. By the way, they're also giving away a Prusa Mark III and some filament. If you go to your dashboard, the link is right here at the top. Until February 15th, they're going to give away one Mark III printer kit and one of five spools of Prusament. So definitely get in on that. You can enter by using these live links. And that feature is going to be really handy if you like to share out your print progress on social media. I've never seen any other app make this sharing as easy as this one. Also, if you get in there and create some links before February 15th, you could win a printer or some sweet filament. So definitely check them out. And it might sound like I'm doing a commercial for Octo Everywhere. Well, I am. 
but I'm not getting paid in any way, shape, or form. I just really like the software. It's an open source project. They're doing really good work, and there is a free tier. Now, there are some paid for tiers if you need more features. And as before, all the different tier levels, the more you pay, the more features you get. And they're really only limiting the features that are intensive on their server load. For instance, the webcam streaming, the free account, you get 30 seconds. The crew level, any paid for level, you get two minutes. And it goes up from there. I'm currently at $3 a month on the crew level. So I get that two minutes, I get five printers and larger file transfers. There's a lot of different tiers available, but the first one that you get the elite support is at $10 a month. That's unlimited streaming, even larger files, and it includes 10 printers. And this is a great effort, so definitely consider supporting them. And as I already said, it's completely open source. It's right here on GitHub if you'd like to go take a look. So there it is, an update on Octo Everywhere and a look at all the new features that they've included. It is now better than ever. And I've always really liked this project. If you're an OctoPrint user, I really can't think of a reason why you wouldn't just go ahead and add Octo Everywhere, just in case you want to check on your printer status while you're away. Remember too that if you have some sort of special OctoPrint setup, maybe multiple webcam streams or some kind of different plugin, that is now going to work with Octo Everywhere. If it works in one, it's going to work in both just fine. Check out those live links as well. If you post one from now to February 15th, you could have a chance to win a Prusa printer or some Prusa Mint, and that is never a bad thing. I do really appreciate all the development work that's gone into this project. Please consider supporting this effort. I will leave all the information in the description below. Hopefully you found this helpful. That is it for today, and I'll see you really soon on the next one.